Hello everyone and welcome back. I have been out for the last two weeks, so for this I was not able to upload videos and I only allowed a couple of uh, no audio requests for a couple of uh, new talisman and skins that people were asking. If uh, you are interested to see any particular of them, any particular use case, an explanation on why it's good or it's bad, let me know and I will do a video. This is particularly focusing on Tempus. I know a lot of you have asked about Tempus is good or bad hero. So first, my Tempus has all the gears, is maxed out in soul stones. Talisman is a good roll, to be honest, quite a good roll. It was armor, by the way. And then skin is already done, glyphs is done, spark of power is done, and artifacts is missing the weapon. It's only five stars. And if I go here, I wanted to, to test it full uh, doll. But I didn't have, I need to wait probably uh, at the end of the event because I will do this probably in the next event because I need 80 points and then I will have one more event to be able to to get the 100 required to level up the artifact to max out. Okay, I will do it and probably when it's ready, I will do a video specifically for Tempus testing multiple things. But I am using already and it's what I want to show. So people have asked again and again, is good or is bad? So if we go to training, in my opinion, if I say, and you please recommend the top 20 heroes, probably you will say Dante Octavia, at least in my opinion, right? Then you will say Corbus Morgan or with Dante Octavia or anti Kayla Aven. Okay, as a counter, Corbus Morgan. Okay, of course, you will say Iris. So Iris with Nebula, and Nebula can be used in multiple teams. All people, of course, uh, Tristan, Kela, Oya, Aiden, Fafnir, okay, and then counters like Ambari or Heidi against Octavia teams. Then, of course, Julius, Lara, and Astrid, another hero that is very common to be used. Probably people will say Astaroth, okay, Cascade is another hero that I use a lot, okay, these are the heroes that I usually do or play with, and these are the 15, 20 heroes that you always use in attack or in defense, and this is the one you need to have. And you see, I didn't say Tempus, but when people ask me, should I level up Tempus? I say, yes. Why is good or bad to level up Tempus? Okay, so the main reason is not because it's a hero that has any particular uh, value, like it has created a new meta, a new team that is very strong. The main reason is, I think this one here, no, this, the temporal anomaly. The main reason is this, okay? It targets particular heroes than currently is meta. So is a hero created for damage the current meta, okay? The current meta is Oya Tristan, whatever, and Tempus really harms Tristan. Tempus also has Lara, which is also a very good uh, hero in the current meta, also can be used particularly against some versions of uh, Dante Octavia, okay? And this is the reason. Tempus is not a hero and currently I have found a very strong team in the fan or it's going to create a new meta, but we need to wait to know more about the next, uh, the next hero that they release. Tempus is very similar to Soleil. In a way that Soleil prevents teams that does a lot of damage to the front line, like for example, Julius with Sebastian, okay, and Isaac. Okay, so, uh, so Soleil is very good against these teams. Tempus is very good against uh, my penetration heroes. And this, uh, sorry, armor penetration heroes. And these are things like Tristan, Lara, and some versions of Dante, or, or Dante with Jasmine in, in Octavia teams, because Jasmine gets a lot of armor penetration because of Octavia. Okay, against these teams, Tempus is very strong. And these teams are always, Oya Tristan and Dante Octavia are always, plus Lara as a third team or with Dante Octavia or with Oya Tristan, okay? So this is the reason. And I will provide to you an example of how I have been using this in, in Global Arena to have an idea of uh, why I'm talking, okay? Like for example, let's go to today, I use it. Wait, I should not pass myself here, one second. Mm -mm -mm. Here, I think this one. Yeah, okay, in this one here. 
So let me put the replay. I don't want to show you much more of the other defense of the other team. As you see in this case, it was a traditional Oya Tristan with Lara, Fazmi and Kaspi, a difficult team to, to beat. Okay. So simple as it is, like Julius, Jazz, Isaac with Astin and then Tempus. Okay. And this is what it is, like Tempus uh, disable in that case Tristan. It will be later Cascade. So this is the thing, or, or Lara, okay? So as you see, we disabled in the, the team, the energy of the team, or the engine of the enemy team. And this is the reason why you use uh, Tempus, okay? As you see, it's a clear victory against a team that is not easy to, to beat, that easy to beat, right? So with a simple JJ, with Astrid, and using Tempus, I got what I needed, okay? Step forward, one minute is over. You see the damage that has caused is everything for Isaac and Astrid. So Tempus is not a hero that does damage, but it's a hero that controls the, the position or, or the teams. Okay, the other one I think was against Phoenix. I probably use it. Let me see if I see here. Team. Um, second one, I think was the second. Yeah. Okay, very similar uh, situation in this case. I have Corvus, Dante with Octavia, Sebastian and Lara. I want to disable Lara here. Okay, Corvus, the only damage here will be Altar, and for this I use uh, my Dorian to protect uh, Heidi. And then with Nebula and Heidi is a lot of a lot of damage against uh, Lara, and then and Barry will uh, hold the line against uh, Stan in a manner that the damage happens. Okay, and that case Tempus, because it's close to Nebula, will amplify his uh, control effects. Okay, so I would like to show you like when uh, Tempus uh, activates the his abilities and against here, you see? This one here, against Lara. Lara is not able to do anything, has started losing energy, and then Lara is over. Okay, Tempus is going to die, but because he has enough armor and health, he's able to survive. Okay, but losing Lara for this team is very bad, because then everything will fall, as you can see. Corvus will never damage the team, because I have Dorian. Okay, this is an example of when do you use uh, Tempus, okay? Let me go against here. I think against this guild, I use it uh, in both attacks. I wanted to show you this video because it's easier to show like how I'm using all the time uh, Tempus. Okay, the spy is not a base hero, but because it counters against another Lara in Adante Octavia. Let's go to it. Okay, similar situation, you will see that it will grab Lara and disable Lara. Okay, Lara is disabled. At the same time, I have killed uh, Jasmine because of Cascade and, and Barry. And that's it. Super easy. You see? No losing anything. Quite straightforward here. And the other one, I believe, was also very similar thing, but in that case, with Oya to protect uh, Jasmine. And this Jasmine, 260, will be level 70, 75. Okay, probably. You see, in this case, the effect went against Astrid. Okay, because she has a lot of armor penetration. Not the best, but again, you are able to beat, uh, to beat the team. Okay. And then, I think the last one for the week will be this one. Let me see if I find. I don't remember. Like, I believe I use it. For sure I use it, but I don't know. Okay, in this one. Okay, this one, when I see always uh, Jasmine, I like to go with... Uh, with uh, Helios and then Orion give armor penetration, sorry, my penetration to Helios and also to Iris, so it's a very strong team. Astaroth for resurrection against Jasmine, not the ideal because it burns the energy of Astrid, but Astrid doesn't use uh, energy. But I use Tempus and I want to show you like what happens here, why to use Tempus here. Okay, pay attention to, to Astrid and when Astrid is able to, uh, to do anything. You know, has helped a lot, a lot, Iris to do a lot of damage because all these devices makes Iris amplify the attack. So this combo, you say this team plays with Nebula, but I need Nebula here. Because what Tempus does, all these uh, um, unbuff or debuff things make Iris to do more damage. So enough increase the damage because of the debuffs of Tempus over Astrid, amplify the damage of Iris, and then Iris destroy Astrid very fast. And then also Iris will do damage in uh, Jasmine. So it's quite straightforward with the main penetration of Orion. It's quite simple to destroy the whole team. 
Okay, there is an example, another one. I have, yes, I use, for example, this is another Dante Octavia team with Nebula, Lara, and then in that case, Julius. So, very similar than before. City as a wall in front of, followed by uh, the new talisman of Maya, much better than the old one. In theory, the old one, because Maya attack was better. But health and armor is something that uh, Maya needed, and it has improved the reliability of Maya, and of course, Nebula hated it to do the damage as soon as possible. Okay, another example of Tempus. Okay, of Tempus being used. That case, you see, Lara disabled is losing energy and not doing anything, and then the whereas your team was charging, right? So Lara is off of the map, of the map, so now it's quite straightforward to do it. Careful here because Nebula will amplify sometimes Julius, and so it could be risky. But you see now finally Nebula is off, and then it's as important to Octavia with Julius. Dante dies, then it's done. Ah, uh, the question is who will die before Octavia or Julius? Julius, okay. So now it's over, okay? So this is the, the idea of Tempus. As you see, it's not a hero that I see in a particular combination or a particular uh, technique or something like that. No, it's a counter. Counter of Laras, counters of Tristans, and then sometimes counters of some particular versions of Dante Octavia. It has seen being used a lot against the version of Dante Octavia with Jasmine as a first hero, okay? So this is what uh, what I see so far. So will you recommend that the same as Soleil is a very uh, dependent hero? Is the meta changed maybe in six months and now it's all magic heroes? Uh, Tempus will not be a good hero. Okay, so it's a counter against armor penetration heroes and physical heroes and they were very strong during the current meta, at least for the last two years, particularly since the release of Fafnir. And Tristan Fafnir, and then Kela Aiden, then Oya, okay, then somehow Dante Octavia, which at the end is Dodge, but also is physical heroes, right, with Dante. So it's a counter against uh, these things, okay. So it's like Amida uh, in, in her moment when it was used against stuff, so it's similar. I think it's a counter of physical heroes, currently used almost every day in attack to counter these things. But if the meta shift, maybe the hero will be useless. But as today, I think it's a good hero. Okay, I will do a better, much better video because currently I, I am at night with an interview of Jet Lab because I arrived yesterday. But uh, hope this helps for all the questions I have had. Have a good day.